Hi, my name is Kevin Matthews, and I'd like to introduce you to a new AFO design we're offering uh, in my practice. Uh, what we call it is the load shifter AFO, and what it's designed to do is to carry weight that would normally bo be borne through the distal tibia, talus, and heel to be carried uh, in, the, in the calf area of the patient. How this works is basically what we obtain a, uh, a cast model of the patient's leg, and then right above the ankle, we cut it and we separate it a half inch and then we put it back together and we pour it so that basically we elevate the calf structure a half an inch. What that does is because the calf is conical shaped, it cannot drop down beyond the shape that is contained inside the AFO. In other words, as it gets smaller, it will get choked off and weight will be borne on the calf. Once we do that, uh, when the patient puts the brace on, they incorporate a half or a 5 8 inch little wedge, put that inside the AFO with the little tab going out front. They strap the brace on their leg, then they pull this out. And the leg will drop down, but it will drop down far enough where the heel will just barely touch or not touch at all. And the patient will regulate that. If the patient wants to get some weight bearing through the heel, if say we want 50% or just enough weight bearing to remove pain, they may not use this. They may just plantar flex or push off with their toes to raise the heels up, heel up and strap it down. It'll just take a little bit of time for the patient to realize exactly how high to raise it for that proper feel. How it works is we've got a rigid lamination back here, uh, de depending on the size of the patient, four to seven layers of carbon, which basically makes this bulletproof. It is incredibly strong, will not flex. Uh, we use a, a, a different type of layup up here so that it's a flexible anterior or front brim so that the patient can open this up, work their leg into the brace, close it down. There's an overlapping EVA liner that basically gets circumferential control and then this locks that down so that we don't get any slippage in the fit. And then just two simple Velcro straps will tighten this up and support the weight through the calf area. The, uh, the, the toe plate is also rigid but it will have some flex for a little bit of energy storing properties but more often than not it's basically left rigid. So if you have patients where you need to unload 100% of the weight through the distal tibia, talus, or calcaneus, this is a design that's acceptable. The previous design, uh, most popular previously used, was a PTB. The problem with a PTB is it captures the patellar tendon, and it's not an intermittent pressure. It's constant pressure. It's not very well tolerated by the patient, and it's also very difficult to make. Not many people can actually make a PTB. I've made several, but this design is easier for patients to use. It is lower profile and actually stronger because it's made from a carbon composite. So I just wanted to put a little information out there about our load shifter AFO. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Uh, thanks for your time.